Hi, Tamron. I'm Anne Marie Kelly, and this is my spouse, Joseph Eagle. We have been married, traditionally speaking, for 32 years, but we only get married for five years at a time, so we have six marriages under our belt. We are in our seventh marriage now. The first time Joseph talked about getting married, I didn't even answer him. Instead, I said, I think we should buy a house. What I wanted to do was make that proposal to marry him for five years. I said, I'm sure I can be married to you for five years. And if at the end we still like each other, we'll get married again. I was kind of shocked at first, not upset, but shocked. Emery is a very intelligent, common sense person. And I knew how she felt about marriage. Once I got over the shock, it just made sense. I thought it was a good idea. At the end of a marriage, we look at where we've been, look at what we've done, look at what worked, but didn't work. Yeah, I never questioned the five-year plan because I think the foundation and the principles of five-year marriage kept us together. It's made the relationship a priority because we only have five years to get it right. Anne Marie wrote about this union in the five-year marriage, shifting the marriage paradigm. She and Joseph join us from their home in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining us. Okay, this you might be one of the most fascinating <laughs> couples I've ever heard. Thank you. So Anne Marie, first of all, you use the word spouse. You, you're very specific about the language when you refer to Joseph. Why spouse over husband? You know. Cameron, that started a while back when when I was single and all my girlfriends, my married girlfriends used to, we all would get together and everybody would talk about how exhausted they were. And they were doing this and doing that and everybody was juggling everything. And at some point, a woman would say, you know what I need is a wife. And everybody would laugh and then we'd all move on. But after I heard that a number of times, I started to think, so what does that say about being a wife? And I, and I didn't want that. Yeah. I didn't want to be that person who was doing the juggling and doing everything like that. So I thought, well, the only way to stop that is to change the language. Change the language so, to spouse. That is remarkable. Um, Joseph, I'm curious, the way um, Anne-Marie describes it, I, I instantly thought about her talking about buying a house. And I said, this is a lease to own marriage. It's like, I keep extending your lease, but we are owning our love. When she proposed this very progressive idea 30 years ago, were you at all intimidated? No, because uh, we've been dating for about two years before that, and we I kind of trust her. So no, I was not, in, no, I was, I was fine. With, once I got over the shock, <laughs> it just made sense. So Amory, what's behind the five year though? Why is it why to you is five years a significant mark to keep resetting versus seven versus two? I think enough things happen in five years. I, I, I knew somebody who used to get married every year, like they made a thing of that. And, and, and I came to see that that was more like about having a party instead of having a marriage. Oh. But five years, enough stuff happens in five years. Not only does the stuff happen, but you have time to process the stuff. So at the end of the five years, then you can say, huh, huh. how did that go? Interesting. And, you know, and, we, and that's how what we do. We look and say, what, what good things happen? Because in every five years, something good happens. And in every five years, there's always a challenge. Wow. So when we come back, one of the challenges they face, one of their marriages almost ended in divorce, how they reset and continue the clock. Don't go away. talking with couples all hour, giving us advice on how to keep it going once you found the special one. Joseph Eagle and his spouse, Anne-Marie Kelly, are the authors of the book, The Five-Year Marriage, Shifting the Par Marriage Paradigm. They've committed to remarrying every five years to each other. And Anne-Marie, um, was it the second marriage you hit a roadblock and almost ended up divorcing? What happened? Well, we... we we started to have a problem and and my background's in teaching and I, I worked with children. I thought I could fix everything. And we would talk about it and we would argue about it and it, and it just never got better. And finally I said, we can't fix this. We need to get outside help. 
And, uh, and the truth of the matter was Joseph wasn't so happy about going for outside help. Um, but we only had, my feeling was we had too many of your ears. In fact, it's what I told the therapist when we went, he said, why are you here? I said, we have two and a half years left on this contract. If we can't fix this, I'm not having another one. Wow. Jeez, you put down the gauntlet. Well, you kept it going. You're now on your next contract, which is two and a half years left on it. I want you to come back and give us an update on the two and a half years. No pressure there. Well, congratulations on everything. What an innovative and progressive way to look at marriage. We appreciate you joining us.